All right, sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up, you goofs. Apparently, we missed some postmortems, so I brought a bunch of those motherfuckers here today to talk about their fights. Nick and Anderson, I'm guessing this is going to go a lot differently for you two than it would have an hour after the fight. All right, let's get this shit over with. You, clown shoes, in the front row, ask a fucking question. This question is for Bigfoot. Mr. Foot, you're fighting the Hulk at UFC 190. You've had two losses since your return from suspension. How important is this win for you? Ice cream! Okay, great. No, I'll just, uh, I'll put that as the headline of my piece. It'll just say Bigfoot colon quote, ice cream end quote. And the rest of the article, I'll just fill with the words, fuck this job. Maybe if you stopped asking dumb shit and talked about what he wanted to talk about, you'd get better answers. Okay, I was a journalist for Yahoo for Mayweather Pacquiao, you fucking goof. I'll probably win a fucking Pulitzer this year. Watch this. Bigfoot, what's your favorite dessert? Ice cream! I just wrote your whole fucking article, Goofzilla. What you got next? Mighty Mouse, you're arguably the most dominant champion in the UFC right now. You're number two on the completely meaningless pound-for-pound rankings. Do you feel like you get overlooked by fans? Was that a fucking short joke? What? No, no. I, I just mean, are the fans not giving you the credit you deserve? Listen, I don't give a fucking shit if people watch me or not. I'm the fucking best in the fucking world. I go out there and fucking perform every single fucking time. Nobody can fucking stop me. Watch me or don't fucking watch me, but you can't fucking deny that I'm the best fucking flyweight in the whole fucking world. So to answer your question, I don't give a fuck. Damn, homie. Sound like a fucking Martin Scorsese movie or some shit. Buy Xbox, bitches. Has anybody got uh, questions for me, you know? Uh, you guys got questions about ninja shit or whatever? Let's go. Come on. Nick, with what they found in Anderson's system, do you feel cheated by the outcome of the fight? I mean, no, because, uh, and I say this with all respect to you, Anderson, you know, you're a fucking legend, uh, but he fought me like a scared ass bitch. So unless fucking steroids or whatever fucking shit he put in his body make you more of a scared ass bitch, I don't, I mean, I fucking laid down in the cage, you know, he just stood there or whatever. And I'm just like, <laughs> like what, homie? Like who the fuck does that? You know what happens when some motherfuckers lay down in the streets, homie? He gets hit? Yeah, by fucking cars and shit. Motorcycles. Don't fucking lay in the streets, kids. I guess that's what, uh, that's what I came here to say today. All day. Anderson, a lot has happened since that fight. You've yet to have your disciplinary hearing with the NAC. What outcome are you hoping for, and what does this mean for your legacy? Hey guys, remember when I do Black Dana? I was like, anybody have questions for Black Dana? You, you remember? <laughs> Answer the question, Anderson. It's the great show. What, what does that even mean? Trust me. You have ruined your legacy. Good thing you and George never fought. He'd be fucking laying there the whole time, and you'd just be fucking standing there. Fucking nothing would happen because you guys fight like somebody stole some fucking gum from you or some shit. I fight like somebody stole my dick, motherfucker. Whoa! Whoa! All right, let's wrap this thing up. Any more questions from the goof squad? Really quick, Rampage, how does it feel to be back in the UFC? Titties. Ow!